because we live in an area where it's a little bit more poverty, we had lots of kids that was coming to school hungry. When I first came here last year, at breakfast time, all the kids would be standing outside. Research has shown that kids that do not eat breakfast, you tend to not make up those nutrients during the day. Kids are not getting enough vitamin D, calcium, potassium, or fiber. I'm here to take care of the sick kids, but we, I rather concentrate more on other illness and conditions and not a hungry child in the classroom. Studies have shown that kids that do not eat breakfast do not perform well in school. What I did was I listened, I listened, and I heard breakfast in the classroom. I said, we're doing it here at Barbara Moorhead. I wrote the many grants for through Share Strength and Fuel Up to Play 60 and got the funding to ensure that all of our middle school students have breakfast. Once the program started and I could see how the morale of the students sort of picked up. One of the things I've seen is students are here I'm letting my students in the building probably 10 minutes earlier than I did last year. And that way we have time to make sure that the teacher gets their 45 minute instruction time in. And then the students still have time for breakfast. With breakfast, kids have shown improved test scores. They have shown improved behaviors in school, uh, less tardiness, less absenteeism. I see a big difference. The kids are not coming to me as sick. I don't have as many stomach aches. I don't have as many headaches. We have 340 students here at Robert Moorhead. One morning we serve 333 breakfasts. That is awesome. And I go into the classroom and the kids are eating cereal and, and you know they're doing their work, the teacher is taking care of business. I'm going to the hallways, oh, oh it's nobody in the hallway. So it's wonderful, kids are eating. Breakfast in the classroom has really been great. Today is a new day and a new beginning for all. I'm hoping that funding will continue to be there.